Personally, like, my favorite is Dark Nathaniel Klansman, where he, he buries bodies. You know, <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> that that was probably right. your shining moment. Man. I tell you what, man. Sometimes I sit out here on the porch and I get to thinking, dark thoughts. <laughs> you know, sometimes out here there's nothing to do but think. Sometimes the storms roll in, keep you bound to your house for a week two on end. The waters they fall, the rivers they rise up. Uh, and I tell you what, man. I tell you, some of them rivers rise up. Some of them bodies rise up too. Ain't nothing I'm proud of, but I'll tell you what, boy. Got a couple of fuck got a couple of things under my floorboard when them rivers rise. I get a little anxious when it rains. Cause dark secrets come out when the tide goes up. You ever I definitely think that pitch is uh, your uh, friend. Uh, 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 you ever you ever sit on the porch and see the country light up by the lightning light? Make you think about all this here. Is it God who put us all here? No. Someone much darker than that. What is God? <laughs> it's a joke. God won't put me here on this hill on earth. I tell you what, <laughs> I grew up with, a, I grew up <laughs> with my good old friend, Jeremiah. Me and Jeremiah used to be real close, like, we used to run through the field. We used to, <laughs> we used to shoot at deer in the, in the field, like, one day Jeremiah come home to me. We were close friends, real close. Jeremiah, one day he come home, he said, I kissed your sister. I wasn't too kind about that, because I'll tell you what, man, I've been kissing my sister. What's your argument? <laughs> that's my sister, and anyone gonna be reprocreating with her, Jeremiah, that's gonna be me. <laughs> <laughs> so I took Jeremiah out back, told him we were gonna sleep some sweet tea, and I whispered in his ear, Jeremiah, <laughs> cross the line this time, big brother. <laughs> And I did something I regret, I'm not proud to say it, but I put my hands on his neck. Wow, should the light left his, his eyes. The last breath exited his mouth. As I looked on his lifeless body, I realized what I had done, but there was no going back at this point. I could see... I could tell there was no run going back at this point. Saw the clouds rolling in across the field. It was coming in ready for some rain. But I thought if I got to live a good life here for my sister, I got to get rid of this body. She going to wonder where Jeremiah went. He's a good friend. He'd been around for a long time. People be asking questions. I got to make sure that body get good and good gone. So did me a trench down up in the fields. Real deep talking, I took the tractor, the John Deere. <laughs> <laughs> I took my papa's, I took my daddy's John Deere and I start digging. And I start digging. <laughs> and most by most people's calculation, they say about six feet enough, but I kept digging. <laughs> And maybe it was, maybe it wasn't I was digging to hide the body. Maybe I was digging my own shame, trying to hide it. Don't have to ever face it again. I tell you that John Deere went about deep as, went about as deep as my shame down to the devil himself. And when I put Jeremiah's corpse, I rolled it right in there. The devil lick his ass so deep. <laughs> and he did, I swear to God. As I filled in that ditch with my good friend Jeremiah, I said, Oh, this gone. Never gonna be the same around here. Went home, the rain started to pour, the lightning hit the fields like a... Like a shock from God. Could see the trees shaking out there in the field. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
I'd like to say that was the last time I took a man's life, but it was only the first. Turned out I had an appetite for people sending people out down to a real deep grave. Something in me, there's some kind of darkness, a hole in me, couldn't be filled by nothing else. And I wanted this kind of man, I wasn't kind of, I wasn't kind of no murderer, but it was a hole, a deep hole inside of me, couldn't be filled up no other kind of way. Started with Jeremiah, turned out the next one was Jim, Bi Jim Bob. I don't like to talk about Jim Bob hurt not, if he, it hurt too bad. Jim Bob, a good man. But I tell you, man, something happened when them lights just switch off behind my eyes and I see Jim Bob and I just think, this man belong in the dirt down with the devil himself. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll tell you I admit Jim Bob's a jazz. <laughs> 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 I met Jim Bob one day a hot, humid summer day out there in the fields. We was picking we was picking uh, all the crops, the corn was getting ready for harvest. Yeah. It, was a, it was a tough harvest season, you know, the the disease came, ate most of our crops. Hard time for us farmer type. But come around Jim Bob coming around saying, hey, you boys look thirsty. You boys look like you can have some kind of drink <laughs> to hydrate. I did one. I was thirsty. That ain't no truth about that. But I was thirsty for something else. He didn't want to know the truth, and I didn't want to face it either. I'd already taken one man's life. I was about to take another. Took I, see me <laughs> I took Jim Bob into my house while we had ourselves some of them iced tea. Something just woke in me. He was a good man, a good Christian boy. I gave him that iced tea. I watched the cubes swirl around his glass like the last embers of his life. This great flame that was Jim Bob about to be flickered, about to flicker to the end. But <laughs> just going caught. <laughs> <laughs> I invited Jim Bob inside. <laughs> I invited Jim Bob back to my house. Tell him to sit down, watch the telly. And I just stand behind him and watch. I knew him. this man's last moment here on this earth. He didn't even see you coming. <sighs> I hate to think about Jim Bob. What I did to him wasn't right. But I'll tell you since you ask. <laughs> Sat down right next to him. I put a little bit of a sedative in his iced tea, you know, the kind that just make you sleep nice and peaceful. Well, he drank his tea, boy, I tell you what. Passed right there on the couch, went to sleep sweet like an angel. He looked so peaceful when he slept like that the last time he'd ever sleep, I tell you, man. What is the difference between death and sleep, I wonder? As I sat there looking at Jim uh, Bob taking a nice little sleep there. Cause what I tell you, when I took that knife and dug it into his side, I tell you, he didn't wake up. He just kept on sleeping. And I wondered to myself, what is the difference? I just took me a life and yet this man couldn't even wake up to face me in the eyes. I tell you, Jim Bob was a good man around the community. His family couldn't know what was going on. His mama come around and talk about, hey, you seen Jim Bob? I say, I ain't seen Jim Bob around here. You know I ain't seen Jim Bob in ages. Got it. We was close. Right. That was very good. Thank you so much. And this show will premiere next Thursday. So, yeah, uh, Jack, did, what did you think about my accent? 
<laughs> I think you have another career as an A and E documentary <laughs> uh, voiceover <laughs> person for sure. Thank but no, on a on a slightly like genuine note, I feel like for you that pitch really helps you stay in a certain accent. Mm. Mm. So this version of your southern accent when you when you do it down here, then that kind of helps you stay in one place rather than switching between things. And the same with your like Godfather one, because you've got that extra vocal quality happening. I tell you what, you man. Kind of stay. You say stand down there, and that's what I saw when I said Jim Bob's body. I saw stay down there. Not again. Because sometimes this, the, the soul is the body's voice trying to escape and put Jim Bob down in that there hole. I said stay down low there. Stay down low Let there. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. I appreciate you. Uh, sometimes I get, I get. Uh, <laughs> in the words of Tupac, it's just dead homies uh, speaking uh, through my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's lost in the sauce a little bit. All right, Jack. Everybody, <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> You know, I appreciate it. I know this wasn't an easy assignment for you, but uh, clearly you're very talented. And, I'm, you know, the, the faults of me should not reflect on uh, you as a coach. Surely. No, I think there not. is potential there. And I definitely think with either as well, mm. the, the, there's, a, there's a hidden talent hiding there. <laughs> yeah. Chat loved you. Yeah, <laughs> Chat thought you were a sweetheart for tolerating me. So thank you, Jack. Thank you. Uh, appreciate yeah, you. For having me. <laughs> and uh, thank you so much. P uh, people, if you want, uh, uh, if you guys want, you can hit him up at accentcoachjack.com. Mm -hmm. Or accentcoachjack on all platforms. That's awesome. Okay. Accent, accent Coach Jack. We'll put the link in the description. You guys can check it out. <laughs> all right, Jack. Take care. Thanks for calling in. Appreciate thank it. Thanks for having me. All right. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Jack. Bye, Bye. <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs> Well, you know, I looked up, the thing that got me is I looked up and Jack was so politely and seriously listening. I mm -hmm. thought, I've, sh I just gotta keep going for him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Someone said he looked so confused. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Sorry about that, Jack. Uh, you didn't deserve that. <laughs> she came around more? looking for Jim Bob. You still got more in you. She came around looking for Jim Bob. I told her, well, I ain't seen him. You won't come in for a drink, though? And y'all know how that goes. No. 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 All right. Thank you, guys. Was that all improvised? <laughs> what, what, <laughs> did you th what did you think? Uh, <laughs> no, you actually killed him in like... <laughs> I think it'd be crazier if I wrote that. That's <laughs> wild. You improvised that. I got to give you props for that. Oh, thank man. you. Yeah, that was pretty beautiful.